All right, so we got the story. Here's the story about um, the shit that happened. Larissa Barrow scrapped her nephew when she heard the gunshots. The 18-year-old cradled the baby closely as she huddled in an upstairs bedroom in her family's Poinciana home and called 911. Kai Williams shot through the front door and a window, leaving a trail of blood droplets and glass as he made his way through the two-story home. He fired again through the bedroom door where his ex-girlfriend was hiding. Please, send the police, please, Farrell screamed into the phone. Stop, back up, stop, he's here, what do you want? Another series of shots rang out. The line went silent. Those muffled pops have echoed over the last three months in the memories of grieving families and friends trying to piece together what happened and why. Court yeah. records, family that members... That show was random. I remember when it happened. Yeah. But, um, everybody knew about it. Everybody in this town knew about that shit. And we live right next to it. Yeah. This is the spot. <laughs> this is the spot where... You want to go ahead and tell them? Uh, yeah, this is the spot where... The guy killed himself after killing his girlfriend. Right here. It's fucking crazy, right? Oh my god, I can't believe. I can't Yo, believe we were here. We were here when it first happened. So we literally seen like his brain matter and all that stuff here. It yeah, it was pink. It went onto the grass. But the mark is still here. This is insane. This is insane. I can't believe this mark is right here. Uh, this is where a guy killed himself and shot his head. Shot him, shot himself in the, in the head because of the cops. The cops, um, they came over here and they found out what he just did in that house right there. That's the house where the guy killed the girl. So I'm going to take y'all by the house where this guy fucking killed that girl, man. See if I could. I can't flip the camera, but I can show y'all the house. I wasn't gonna pass by here, but that's the house. Wow, that's so sad. It's so sad and it's so crazy. And the street right there. Y'all can find the case online. Uh, and read what happened. I'm gonna put it in the um, in the in the information on the, on the page. Look, that's the brains right there. That's where the guy killed himself. So he killed that girl, and then he was walking on the street. And then when the cops came around this corner right here, um, that's when they that's when he did that. So he texted her, no matter what you ever did to me, I always still loved you and wanted you, and now the woman of my dreams is telling me she doesn't want me anymore. You you might as well die. Wow. He told her he was suicidal yeah, and couldn't live crazy. without her. Father seeks split custody. Williams was visiting his so mother. So what, he killed her like after school or something? Or? No, in the morning. In the morning? Yeah. Oh, because they were out of school. They were probably, done with school. Yeah. She had okay. graduated. She was about to graduate. She didn't get to get. So okay. he pretty he pretty much did that because um this, this, he left this, she left him and she was trying to move on. Yeah, but he is that a series of events made him snap because read this it says he found out that the baby was born twelve hours after it happened and and she didn't tell him he was heartbroken. So what? A month later, Williams requested. Shit! Split when my custody. son was born, this bitch escaped and fucking. I didn't see my son for the first three months. Yeah. Just, he said. Just because I um I got is, out of jail and this, shit. This fucking is what crazy he wrote. Bitch, this man. is what he wrote on the court papers. He said, "My son is being hidden from me, so I don't even know where he is." He grew up in a broken household and didn't want that for Ellie. He knew about the fights his parents had with one another and other relationships, including fights that sparked violence. 
but Barros was moving on, getting settled with the newborn and going back to school. Oh, these are text messages between them. They have it? Oh, they, they show all that shit? Yeah. What'd you say? The final confrontation? Yeah. Okay. He knocked on the door. Um, Barrels and her sister, Melissa Barrels, looked outside by the time there was no one there. So Melissa left her son with Larissa inside the house. She got in her car and circled around their neighborhood when she saw him. Williams, the guy, raised a gun. She panicked and floored the gas in her white Ford Focus. Her sister? Ramming into him. She ran into him with the car. Outside the house? But that didn't know. stop him. Bloodied, clothes ripped, Williams ran to the front door of the Barrows family home. He shot his ex-girlfriend twice. The fatal shot was to her head. Damn. Yeah. He got that gun from his mom's house in Atlanta. Oh, so that's from his mom's house? Yeah. Shit. Tiki. The, he was, she was shot in the closet, still clutching her sister's son. They were both covered in her blood. Wow. Look away.